Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and today we are gonna continue playing Criminal Case, Case 17, Order the Skin. So, let's unlock Chapter 2. It's clear, it's horrible, I was infiltrated in the Chinese festival for an undercover mission, and I stumbled upon this weird room, it had an operating table and pictures of organs pinned on the walls, just horrible. Pictures of organs? What kind of organs? The bloody kind, there was a heart and lungs and even a spine. Yeah, all the missing parts. You're thinking what I'm thinking, Katarina. First, there was a heart from that Chinese girl that we never found. Then, there was a lungs missing from Round One's corpse. And then, Spider was ripped from that prize at the St. Patrick's Parade. Hey, you're right, Katarina. Kamaru was missing his skin. Could it have also been stolen? But wait, Kamaru was killed by having his skin removed. So, his killer is the one who took the skin. Oh my god, Cantaria, you think this all points to the same person that we have an organ stealer on the loose? This is huge. Yeah, I'll help you to that room. I'm so happy I'll help you deal with your investigation. Follow me. Oh my god. Finally, we gotta find those organs. Okay, let's investigate that operating room. Keep go. Okay, there's a heart. Okay, where's a bit slice? There you are. Uh, head gun. It's here. I see the speaker. Uh, broken device. Equipment tray. Where is it? There you are. Vital signs. It's here. Okay, we didn't collect the best part over there. Well, I guess your friend was right. Yeah, between the pictures of our victims on the wall, walls and the blood on this operating table, we found the organ stealer's stand. So what new list did you find? That they are gone? It makes sense, too. I too would want to come here or on. Let's dust it for fingerprints then. I also found something broken, of course. I guess it wouldn't be a real investigation without it. Well, let's have you repair it up, see what it gives us. Just a piece of advice, Katia, you'd better sleep close on if you want to rummage through the sea's operating tools. I'd hate for you to catch some kind of disease. Don't worry, I won't. Okay, let's first do this broken device. Okay. Cassette. I thought it was the only person to still use it. The sticker on the tape says "Skin Search. This has to belong to our killer. You're right, I'll get this tape to the lab. Oh my god. Three hours. Okay, let's do this operating tools. Oh, I had to admit, I expect you to find a paper letter among those operating tools, Katria. How the heck did it get there? Our course is to be single link between this operating group and our crime scene. I agree, definitely time for a second look there. Okay. But first, let's do this gun. Here we go. Can't, Katrina, I'll get those to Hannah. Well, I can do it myself. Identify the person who Spring Freeze belongs to. Okay, nine hours. Okay, now let's go to Skid Festival. Festival decorations. Okay, what we got here? Okay, dog, uh, table tennis battle, there you are. Back statement. Nikolai, come on. Where's door paper? Okay, there you are. Where's Banda? Okay, there you are. Um, 
So H5 can three add two pieces of paper grey. One more we can make it hat. Sorry, sorry, alright, this one is a bank statement from Kamaro's account and for rather hefty sums of money. Five hundred thousand dollars in total. I will say no to some of that. Bank account number is illegal though, I think you can decipher it. And I guess there's nothing else to do but put these pieces of paper back together. Okay. It's another list of people who opt for expulsion, that, but this one looks so official. What's funny, Malik? I'm here with Malik, Yusuf, and Malik. What the? It's the Aika's family. How could the most zealous member of the immigration department have her family expelled from the country? You're right, best if we go talk to Aika about this. Okay. And guys, I'm gonna need some stars, so see you in a little bit. Okay, I collected three stars, so let's do this bank statement. So generous with Kamaro. Alright. 15 hours, come on. Okay, let's go talk to Aika. Where did you find this shit, Sergei? I threw it down. The two faced crock betrayed me. I discovered a legal immigrant in the Russian community and I filled a report like I always do. When Nikolai realized it, he was furious. He crushed my right hand to stop me from writing my report and he somehow managed to get my family's names in an expulsion ballot. That's pretty extreme, I got to admit. If your fa family's got green cards, you have nothing to worry about, didn't you? You think it's that clear cut? I know how things work. Once you're on that list, you're done for. This country is empty to us. My parents moved here because I had a heart defect when I was born. Without the transport I got here, I would be dead. The legal immigrants think the rules don't apply to them. My parents work hard to integrate and become true U.S. citizens. They deserve to live. I'll do anything. Anything to keep my family in the bank. Anything do you hear? Oh, hear you loud and clear. You can just keep down. I might come to see you again very soon. Okay, she's suspicious. Okay, we gotta wait for this voice recorder, fingerprints, and account number to finish. So see you all bet. All right, we are back with criminal case. So let's get this awesome that voice recorder. Where did you find such an empty cook, Katarina? Did you borrow it from Frank? Haha, <laughs> I re already made that joke myself, smartass. Anyway, your hunch was right, and this tape was recorded by Kamaro killer. It was actually recorded during the murder. You can hear the killer talking to Kamaro about some big plan they have for his skin and. And Kamaro yelling, yelling in pain. Sounds like something I don't want to listen to. But did you get anything we could use, Kana? Any clues as to the killer's identity? Well, they use a voice modifier, so I can't even tell their gender. However, there's one major clue they let slip through. They are speaking Chinese. The killer speaks Chinese. Agatha, you got at least one suspect so far who matches that profile. Alright. So the killer is Chinese. Okay, it doesn't have to be it can be someone who knows how to talk to Chinese even if he's, even if he's not Chinese. Okay, uh those figures you got from the gun you found in the opera you don't belong to Mark McKenzie. You know that Mr. Famous Surgeon went to that rundown breaking room and with a gun he clearly came prepared. There's more, the way the fingerprints are placed on the gun's handle prove that Mark is right-handed. Unless I'm mistaken, it's, it's part of the killer's profile, right? You bet it is. Yep, it is. Time we have another chat with Mark. Alright. Let's get this awesome red account number. 
So Hannah, did you find out who's been giving huge amounts of money to Kamado? Of course I did. The bank account matches a certain Rupert Snow, a young and upcoming businessman. I did some digging. The guy has been the savior, savior of many an iron city business during the financial crisis. Very generous man. Mm, and so this rich guy decided to give his money off to Kamado. I agree that you better go have a chat with this Rupert Snow. Alright. <coughs> Dang, what's happening to my voice? <laughs> okay, let's go let's go talk to Mark first. Mark, is there gonna find you got an operating room link to our current murder investigation? Care to explain how it got there? <coughs> Damn it, what's happening to me? You see how how I sound like guys? <coughs> Damn it. I think you'd been interested long enough to know how dangerous it is. I always have a gun on me for the protection. That's why his presence in this is not pretty real. Well, it's easy to explain, really. I was just called there for an urgent in intervention. I must have forgotten the gun. Would you operate on me, Mackenzie? I have to answer to that question. I swore a note when I became a surgeon. I must protect my patient's privacy. So you're trying to make us believe that you're going to make so a makeshift operating group with the gun has got nothing to do with illegal activities. Yes, I told you those days are behind me. I'm an honest man. Okay. Okay, now let's talk to Rupert. The famous is Vecutea in flesh and blood. Are you here about the horrifying death of Nicolai Camaro? We are. Is it going discovered that you gave a lot of money to him? Could you tell us in what circumstances? Of course. You see, I lost my parents very young, and most of my foster families were Russian. I was a sick, frail boy. I needed that kidney transplant when I was 12, and I will let you imagine the medical bills that went with it. But my foster family is shouldering the burden without a complaint, so now that I have a body of my own, I decide to give some of it back to the Russian community. By giving a huge amount of money to a Russian gangster, what did you think this would achieve? I know Kamar had his fault, but he was still the leader of the Russian community. I knew he, I knew he would put this money to good use. Okay, later at the police station. Alright, I'm getting the last here. Time for a little recap. What did you say? Biggest break. We know that the freak, freak who killed Kamaro is also the one who has been stealing organs from our previous victims. The question that remains is, what do they intend to do with those organs? The audio tape you find has, has them mentioning a big plan, but what what could it be? In any case, it's also making Mark McKenzie a hell of a suspect, considering the fact that you found his gun in the operating room. We also met Rupert Snow, who has given huge amounts of money to Kamara, supposedly to help the Russian community. Yeah, let's not forget about Aika. I still can't believe Kamara treated to have her family experience. It's karma at its fa finest. So, Karina, Frank, get your goals. We are leaving immediately. What's happening, Atra? Six years is missing. We have to find her before she sleeps down. Ooh. What the fuck? Alright guys, so we're gonna stop here, we're gonna continue playing in the chapter 3. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.